Hello and welcome. My name is Zaid. I'm an ethical hacker, a computer scientist, and I'll be your instructor for this course. In this course, you'll learn network penetration testing from scratch. So you'll learn both wired and wireless network penetration testing. And by the end of it, you'll be at a high intermediate level, being able to launch attacks exactly like black hat hackers would do. Not only that, but you'll also be able to secure your networks from these attacks. The first thing we're going to learn is how to set up your lab so that you can practice penetration testing safely in your own environment. Once done with that, we're going to move in and learn how networks work, how devices connect to a network, and how they interact with each other. Once we understand how these things work, we'll move in into our three main penetration testing sections. The first section is pre-connection attacks. So in this section, you'll learn all the attacks that you can do before you connect to the network. Once done with that, we're going to move into the second section, which is gaining access. So again, if your target is a wired network, you can use the wire, connect to it. Some networks use filtering, so we'll see how you can bypass the filtering by changing the MAC address. If the target is a wireless network, you'll learn a number of attacks to get the passwords for any network, whether it uses WIP, WPA, or WPA2 encryption. Once done with that and we have access to our target network, we're going to move in to section 3, the post-connection attacks. This section is going to be the most fun and you're going to learn attacks that you can run against both wired and wireless networks and it's going to work against any type of device, whether it's a laptop running Windows, Linux, Mac OS, or a TV, a phone, an Android phone, an iOS phone, any computer at all. This will basically allow you to capture usernames, passwords, URLs, anything that people do on your network. You'll also be able to gain full access to any computer or to any device connecting to your network. Once we're done with all of these attacks, you'll learn how to secure yourself and secure your network from these attacks. All of the attacks that we're going to talk about are real attacks launched against real devices in my lab. So they're not proof of concepts or attacks that don't really work.